Hello, I'm Jante Kupahia, the Editorial Director of Quirk Books, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer, a holiday set horror novel that I like to describe as The Office Meets Stephen King. The premise is simple. What if someone took the opportunity to use an anonymous holiday gift exchange to introduce a cursed object into a workplace? How many interns would need to die before people figured out what was going on? And finally, how would you stop it? I'll tell you more about the details of the story in a second, but first I wanna tell you what inspired it. So last summer, I met up with Andrew while he was in Brooklyn to promote Hope Rides Again, the sequel to his best-selling novel, Hope Never Dies, in which Barack Obama and Joe Biden team up in retirement to solve a crime. Andrew and I were having dinner and we got to talking about all the weird, creepy objects back at Quirk's offices in Philadelphia some of which were sent to us by our delightful authors, including Andrew, but many of which have been introduced to the office through our white elephant gift exchange every holiday season. There are multiple cursed dolls, which people move around the office from bathroom cupboards to the break room to the conference room. It's not uncommon to reach for a fresh roll of toilet paper and come away with a murderous looking clown doll. In our conversation, we talked about what would happen if one of these objects were actually cursed. And this eventually led us to Secret Santa. So in Secret Santa, the person who receives the cursed object and is tasked with stopping it once it wreaks havoc is Lucy Meyer, a young horror editor who joins Blackwood Patterson, a literary publishing house located in the East Village in New York City, a few weeks before Christmas in the 1980s. The building itself is Lucy's dream come true a Victorian townhouse painted black with major goth vibes, iron bars on the windows, and an ancient secretary who reminds her of Cthulhu. Lucy is excited to work there and determined to find the next horror superstar, superstar to join the likes of Stephen King, Anne Rice, and Peter Strobe. But her more literary colleagues aren't impressed, and they make it clear from day one that she isn't welcome there. They won't tell her when meetings are supposed to happen. Someone seems to be stealing her stuff, and another person leaves an unpleasant surprise on her office floor. I will leave you to figure out what that is. So she's surprised to discover that they've included her in the Secret Santa gift exchange at the end of her first week on the job. But the real shocks come when she unwraps the gift and her colleagues start getting their comeuppance one by one. As Lucy learns more about the gift, she learns more about the history of Blackwood Patterson and its mysterious founder, Xavier Blackwood. With the help of her former author, Fabian Nightingale, Lucy has to stop her gift from destroying the company and turning on her before it's too late. As you can tell from the synopsis, the book is a lot of fun while also offering real thrills and chills. It reminds me of witty, irreverent comedies like Happy Death Day, Shaun of the Dead, Zombieland, Drag Me to Hell, and Last Year's Ready or Not, one of my personal faves. Like those horror comedies, Andrew both skewers and reveres the horror genre. He also has a lot of funny and brilliant things to say about the publishing industry and workplace cultures. But at the end of the day, he shows off his horror bona fides with Lucy's Gift, which is partially inspired by Germanic and Central European folk stories about Frau Perkta, aka the Christmas Witch and Krampus, whom many of you might be familiar with from the Christmas horror movie Krampus. But I think what really makes this work for me is our smart, kick-ass heroine, Lucy, her riotously funny, but somehow always dead serious sidekick, Fabian Nightingale, and the literal holiday spirit who tries to kill them all. I hope you enjoy it and will think twice before bringing home your own secret Santa or white elephant office gift this holiday season. Happy reading.